Enteric viruses have been one of the main focus of interest of my research and the research of my group for the past 25 years, starting with rotavirus, when we did the early studies to try to understand the dynamics of rotavirus infection in daycare centers in Houston, when children would be infected, if they were reinfected, how many times, how were the symptoms, and if so, which were the serotypes that were affecting these children. All in the aim of thinking in vaccine development. After many years of doing this research, we got involved in vaccine, rotavirus vaccine research. Uh, we were fortunate to be able to um, help organize the large multicenter Latin American trial for one of the rotavirus vaccines where we enrolled over 60,000 children in 10 Latin American countries and were able to show that the vaccine was safe and was effective reducing severe rotavirus gastroenteritis by 80 to 85 percent. A study that was published in the New England Journal of Medicine in 2006. After that, and after many other studies, the vaccine is now widely used. There are two rotavirus vaccines that are widely used in over 90 countries around the world incorporated into national programs in over 120 countries in the private and public market. And we are then, and we can say that we are very happy to see that the vaccine efforts have led to an effective vaccine that is clearly reducing, and there are many epidemiological studies now, effectiveness studies of vaccine use in many countries that have shown that rotavirus severe infections can almost disappear. Severe infections can almost disappear, as been shown in the United States, with a very comprehensive use of the vaccine. You can also reduce less severe cases at a lower extent, and you can reduce consultations incorporating the rotavirus vaccine. And now we've moved our interest to the second relevant enteric virus that causes disease, gastroenteritis in children and adults, which is norovirus. Norovirus causes about 15 to 20 percent of moderate to severe gastroenteritis cases in children. And we are starting with others also to show that it is vaccine preventable. It's going to be more difficult to produce a norovirus vaccine because we cannot use live attenuated virus to date because we cannot culture the virus. We have to use virus-like particles just like we do for human papillomavirus. These vaccines are in development. They are ongoing uh, phase one studies in adults and children moving rapidly to phase two. So hopefully we'll have phase 2B, three studies involving more children in 2018, 2019, to be able to show how safe and effective these vaccines are to prevent moderate to severe acute gastroenteritis in children and maybe in adults. And thus, if we have a rotavirus vaccine already in place and a norovirus vaccine in the future, just by decreasing these two pathogens, we could probably reduce 50 to 60 percent of the moderate to severe acute diarrhea cases that affect children worldwide. That is the challenge, that is where we're moving, and we're hopeful that we will be successful within the next two to three years.